Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be a full face using only Maybelline products. I have not done a full face using one brand video in so freaking long, and I'm so excited to be doing this because, one, because it's a drugstore brand, it's freaking Maybelline. This is so accessible, it's so much more cost efficient for you guys to get these items than it is to get higher end brands. And for the second reason I'm so excited is because I am working with Maybelline. I'm so excited and so honored to be working with Maybelline. We did the campaign for Big Shot together and it's been such a crazy whirlwind of the past couple months because the press and everything has been so in insanely large and crazy from it that I was like, holy crap, this is a huge deal. And it has been such a crazy, amazing moment and I'm so beyond proud and I'm so beyond thankful to, that Maybelline chose me to be one of their spokespeople and a model for them and I can't even describe how blessed I feel from this whole opportunity and like I didn't want to wear any lashes today because I just felt like I owed it to Maybelline because I am one of their spokesmodels for Big Shot Mascara and I wanted to just let the mascara speaks for itself and I just get so many tweets and positive messages from you guys and comments everywhere saying that you guys have seen the campaign and it just makes me feel so blessed. Life can change so fast in three years and it's just such an amazing, amazing experience and I'm so, so grateful. And I'm so grateful for you guys for being along with the journey with me and thank you so much for allowing me to do what I love and I cannot thank you guys enough. I thank you guys every single day. And yeah, that's what today's video is going to be. It's gonna be full face using just Maybelline products. I don't have a ton and ton of Maybelline products. Like I thought I had more than I did, but I think I made this look work and it's just a really pretty natural everyday look. So yeah, let's go and get into this video. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you knew what's up, I'm Manny MUA and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, let's go and get into this full face using only Maybelline products video. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so let's go ahead and start on today's video. I am so excited to be doing this full face using only Maybelline products. I have not done a full face using one brand products video in so freaking long. It's been forever, especially like a drugstore brand. I don't think I've done a drugstore brand one since I did one with NYX and that was like, I don't even know, over a year ago. So I'm so excited to be doing this. I don't have everything from the line. I do have a lot of things though. So I'm hoping that I can make at least one look work with these items. I don't have everything from the line though at all. So let's just start with what I do have. So let's go and start off by priming the skin. I don't have a primer from them. I have the Mist and Fix Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this first. And then I'm gonna go over this with some foundation just to kind of like sandwich in the base of my face. Base of the face, 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 huh. Okay, great, so once that settles into the face, I'm gonna be going in with some foundation. I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, the Fit Me one. I absolutely love, love this foundation. The only thing I wish it had was a pump. Like, I wish there was like a pump on this. Other than that, it's a beautiful ass foundation and I wear it all the time. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my T-zone because it is a more of a matte, mattifying foundation. But not like too matte, it's like a pretty matte. It's not like, matte where you have no shine whatsoever. This is like a satin matte finish. And I'm gonna shade 128. I'm gonna put that all over the skin. Mostly in the T-zone. Is that not such a pretty foundation? Like it just looks so pretty and natural, but still gives you such nice coverage. Like I just really like it. I'm gonna go for more of a natural look today. I've decided, I decided right now. I wanna go with a really pretty natural ass, still stunning as hell look. That's what we're gonna do all right. So now I'm gonna be taking the new foundation. This is the Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation on the go. I have not tried this yet. Literally, I'm like, I'm doing it right now. This is in the shade 20. I am hoping this is my color. It's like a cushion. And I'm just gonna take a Morphe E6. I'm gonna bounce that into the brush and go on the face. Oh! Hi! Oh my gosh, this gives you like some good coverage though. And it's giving me like a lifelike luminous finish. That's really pretty. Do you guys see that? Oh my God, I'm like shook. Honestly, that's nice. I haven't tried it yet. This is so sick. It gives a nice medium coverage. It's not too full, but I think it's buildable. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on the cheeks right here and just see if it builds. And it does, dude, it freaking does. Oh my God. Like first impressions right now, I'm very impressed. It gives you, as you can see, it's a very luminous finish, but it gives you a nice amount of coverage. I mean, I'm using it with this kind of brush. I don't know how the coverage would be if you use it like on a beauty blender. I would suggest cushion foundations on a brush though. That's just my personal opinion. Now for some concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. And I've been, I've talked about this concealer so many times on my channel. I just absolutely love it so much. It gives you such an amazing amount of coverage. It gives you basically full ass coverage and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. So I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes and any other areas I kinda wanna 
highlight in the center of the forehead. And now I'm gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender and I'm gonna bounce out this concealer. God, this concealer is so fucking pretty. Oh my God. No, honestly guys, I've used this so many times. It's absolutely beautiful and the coverage is amazing. Especially for drugstore concealer, like this is full coverage, man. Like, come on. Amazing, and now while I'm letting that kind of settle in, I'm gonna take this. What is this? Master Contour Stick, there's like a two side. I'm just gonna use the sculpting side, really, to. Oh, that's cool toned. Oh, that's cool toned. Okay, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and, I never do this with like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm like really shook right now because I don't ever do cream contouring really. So I'm just gonna, I'm all wrapped. Okay, I'm gonna booty it in. Very nice and lightweight. It's not too heavy on the skin at all. So as you can see, it blended out pretty freaking easily. I'm just gonna put on a little bit more because I think I blended it a little too harsh because I don't see a lot of, a lot of freaking color left there. So I think when it comes to this product itself, I would use that same stippling brush to keep the coverage and the color there. I think that if you're using a beauty blender, it will wipe away too much. It'll blend out too much product. So now guys, I'm gonna be going in with this Master Fix Setting and Perfect Loose Powder, of course by me, by me. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes to set the concealer setting powder. It's a translucent setting powder. You see this, you see this on camera. Tell me why it just blurred out underneath my eyes. This is the first time I'm trying this powder and I'm honestly shook. Do you see how blurred my under eye looks? I mean, I know it looks matte, obviously because it's a matte, like it mattifies your skin, but it looks blurred. Oh my God. Let me read this real quick. Okay, this is a blur, mm-hmm. Sets, mattifies, blurs, and smooths. Um, I believe it all. Literally, it just blurred out my fucking skin. That's really, like, you just, okay. So this is a silica powder, though. This reminds me very much of the Makeup Forever loose powder, that white loose powder. Just be cautious of this powder because it is a silica-based powder, and you want to make sure that you're not going to be doing a lot of flash photography with this powder because it will flash back. Silica flashes back, but it looks so pretty and smooth on the skin when it's on. Oh my gosh. Tell me why my face has never looked smoother than it does right now. It looks fucking blurred. A drugstore version of the Makeup Forever powder. Because look, I mean, look at the effect. I'm blurred, my skin is blurred. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this, which is another product I have not tried. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. I'm assuming it is a foundation powder. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on a Morphe E2 and I'm just gonna brush that over the face. Just to give me a little bit more color back because usually when you're going in with those silica powders, you can get like a little bit of a white cast. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that through, put it down on the neck a little bit because, oh, this is not my color. <laughs> this is not my color. It's fine. In the shade 25 nude beige. Look how light that looks. It totally transferred darker on my skin. That's fine. Let me just say I'm very pleasantly surprised with this whole thing so far. Honestly, honestly. Honestly. So now more base products are going to be ensued. This is the Maybelline Master Contour in the shade light to medium face contouring kit. It comes with a contour, a blush, and a highlight. So I'm just literally gonna do all three of them and kill it in one one easy swoop. So I'm gonna be taking this on a Morphe Y9 favorite contour brush. I'm just gonna contour on top of the cream that I used earlier. That is working. It's a nice cool toned color. You guys, this might be a drugstore. This might be a drugstore tutorial, but we are gonna look so high end. Honestly, another pleasant surprise right here. Again, damn. Maybe it's also because I'm because it's a drugstore. I'm even more lenient because it's a greater price point. Hmm. Okay, Morphe E4 blush, a blush, and put it on the blush parts. Pigmented, pigmented. Oh, I never do colors like this actually for blush. I never blush this color. Whoa, it's like really pink for me. I'm used to very like apricot warm corals. This is straight up pink. Ah, I don't know. I'm not used to myself in pink. Whoa, not in pink blush. Not in pink blush. Not at all. And now we're gonna take the highlighter, my favorite paint, and I'm gonna take that on a Morphe Y14. And let's see how this, I haven't used this guys at all yet. That's why I'm like very intrigued. Let's see how this works. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's not one of those pow crazy blinding highlights. Not to me at least. For being in this little trio. 
Like, it's not bad at all. Don't listen to the nose. Okay, now that I'm done with the base, the base is basically done. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna do a little more of this to take away that powdery look. Ooh, what if, okay, what if we do this? What if we do some of the fix, the missing fix? We'll spray the brush. Let's see. <laughs> no wonder these whores do that. No fucking wonder, boy. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That is what I was going for right there, son. Amazing. Okay, cool. So now that we have the base at what I want it to be, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes and the brows. Okay, guys, so I don't actually have any brow pencils from Maybelline right now. My mom took all the ones that I had because we went to Aspen together, as you guys know. We went to Aspen together. She brought all the makeup with her in her bag, but forgot to give me mine. So brow pencils that I have in her bag are at home. So what I do have though, at least, I have the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizing Brow Products from Maybelline. So I can use that at least on my brows. It looks like this, it's like a little, it looks like a little iron brow fibers. I'm just gonna comb it through my brows and see what we can get done with this. That's already filling in so well. Yes, God. Take that, mom. I don't need my brow pencils. I know I do, honestly, I need you to give them back. Doing this kind of video, it's like a, a challenge but it's all about trying to make what the products that you do have work. And that's kind of the fun of it, you know? I know you guys like it when I struggle. Mm -hmm. I remember the old videos when I would do something and I would fuck up. You guys would be like, <laughs> and just love it when I struggled. So I'm like, okay, well, you guys are so sweet. I'm gonna use that Master Conceal one more time and I'm gonna take it on a little Morphe M421, which is the best for using it with concealer. Honestly, it's my favorite brush to use it for my brows. Like, I'm a carb out brows kind of girl, so. They're a little messy and a little flurry, but we're gonna use the concealer to clean them up to make it look like that's what the goal was for bold, furry brows. Did I say flurry already? Oh my God, I can't speak. Did I say flurry earlier? I'm used to a much cleaner, more intense brow than this, but for the challenge, I think we made it work. You know what? I did the best I could. Okay, I did the thinking, can't say thinking, can't. So I went ahead and I primed my lids with the same concealer. This is the concealer I use under my eyes and I set it with the same translucent powder, the Master Fix. So now I'm gonna go in with the eye color. I don't have an eye palette from them with me right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that same Master Conceal palette and one of their single shadows and we're gonna make some magic happen. Okay? <laughs> so first thing, we're gonna take that contour color and we're gonna use a fluffy brush. This is the Y16. Fluffy brush, I'm gonna put that into the crease. Yeah, hell yeah. Put it to the crease. This look is gonna be a really natural eye look because I'm not gonna be wearing falsies with this because I am part of the lash campaign and I, I just feel like I wanna not wear lashes for this, you know? Like I feel like I owe it to myself and to Maybelline to not wear lashes because we did a campaign together. So I'm gonna put this into the crease and I'm just doing a light wash of this color really quickly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a more compact, smaller brush, take that same color and I'm really gonna pack it on the outer corner to add a little bit more dimension and depth. As you can see, when you blend it with a fluffy brush that's like really loose and fluffy, it's gonna give you a really light wash of color, but now I'm gonna go in with a more concentrated brush and it's gonna give me a darker, more intense version of the color, which will add a different form of dimension, which I love. As you can see, using different brushes adds different effects to makeup. So I love that. I love that, I love that. Time for a little brow bone highlight action with the highlighter and this little tiny Morphe M326 brush just to give my brows a little bit of a lift. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this single shadow by Maybelline. This is in the shade, I think Nude Glow. I think I rubbed off the back of it because I took I had to open the thing and I think it's Nude Glow. But I remember seeing this for the first time and I swatched it and I was so impressed with how beautiful it was. So I'm gonna take that on the lid today. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. It's like a really pretty, like champagne, like a taupey champagne color. I'm gonna run that on the lid, just a light layer. A really pretty just sheen. This color does take a little bit of building, but once it's there, it's a really just pretty lightweight champagne pink color, and it just looks like pretty. It's just a really pretty natural looking color, which I am going for. Tare. And I'm taking another one. This is in the shade. The Glow Down, which is a really pretty yellow gold. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and see if that works. Ooh, yes. It's like a golden champagne color. Taking a little pencil brush and that same contour color, I'm gonna run that underneath my eyes just to give me a little bit of cohesiveness with this look. So since I don't have any eyeliners from them either, 
I'm gonna take this lip liner in the shade Choc Rich Chocolate, and I'm gonna run that on my lash line. Very little bit, just to give me a little nugget of definition. Nothing too ham, because I just don't want to. Just a little bit right here. It's like a really warm brown. I'm just blending that out a little bit. This is a lip liner, but makeup has no rules, bitch. Makeup has no rules. Like that. Just a little nugget of some color on the lash line. Come on, Maybelline. Maybe he's born with the bitch. That's right. That's right. He's born with it. Okay, so we have the eyes basically done. This is such a really pretty, just natural look for me. <laughs> but I'm making it work. So now, for the most important part, the mascara. I'm so excited to be doing this just because... I am part of the Big Shot Mascara campaign with Maybelline, and being that I am the first male spokesperson for Maybelline, it's just such a huge honor, and I couldn't be more like proud to be working with them, and I'm so, so excited to even use this on my lashes right now, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Let's go in with the Colossal Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline. <laughs> Look at those lashes. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. I love how Big Shot makes my bottom lashes look, honestly. They look so full and so intense and just so like, which I love. And now that we're done with the mascara and the eyes, just a little sum sum, really natural, just very cute and pretty. I'm gonna take the lip liner in the shade Purely Nude, Co Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. That was so creamy. Cute ass color too. And then for lipstick, I, of course, am going to be taking the shade Beige Babe by Maybelline. It's my favorite nude lipstick at the moment. It's so, so good. And this is the final look using full face using only Maybelline products. How long has it been since I've done a look with the lashes? Long time. I'm so excited to see where our partnership takes us next, Maybelline. My God. What's next? So we can take over the fucking United States? Shit. And yeah, guys, that's it for the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had so much fun creating this video for you guys. I've not done a no video with no lashes in forever. I'm like, <gasps> like, I'm like freaked out by it. I'm like, what am I doing? Thank you so much. And thank you so much again to Maybelline for working with me and for wanting to work with me and for taking a chance on me, you know, taking a chance on men in beauty. Thank you to all the brands that want to work with boys and see us as not a fad and something that's not going to be just like out of here soon. You know what I mean? I hate when people think of, beauty boys and people in my community as just being a fad and, they're, and just, we're just kind of like, uh, like boys and beauty, it's just like a fun thing right now and it's gonna go away because I don't ever want it to go away. It's not gonna go away. I'm just letting you guys know, like it's not gonna go away. If you think this is a fad, that's fine. You can think that all you want, but it's not going anywhere. And brands like Maybelline is what's allowing that to happen. And where it's not a fad. And I really hope that we can just create some crazy magic this year. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for us as a brand. And for me and you guys as my maniacs just being here with me and along the journey. I cannot thank you guys enough for making my dreams possible. And for supporting me along the way. Um, I know I'm getting sentimental and sappy and I don't want to cry or anything. But I do owe you guys a lot. And I do hope that you guys understand that I love you so much. And I do. And I'm so grateful for you guys all the time. It's funny when I see videos that people are like saying how I'm grateful for things and I'm like, actually, I've never been more grateful in my life to have what I have. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so grateful for the people in my life, my followers, for my friends, my family. I'm just a grateful person, you know? So thank you so much for allowing me to do what I do and for allowing me to do what I love every single day. And yeah, I'm gonna stop getting sappy. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Holy tits! Holy titanias! That reminds me of the OA. Did you guys ever see the OA? Where it's like... Cause I'm what? Sickening! I have to give myself some props though because I'm making this work. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Real men drink water. And look at that, it's not even too dark for me. Usually I like to go for a fark, for Farker. <laughs> so now I'm going with these little beauty bend there. I don't know what accent that was, I apologize. So now let's do some more of our base product. What am I saying? So now for, so now for more some, 
<laughs> Go and snatch this gobble up. I'm tired of having a scrotum underneath my chin. Messy and a little flurry, but... <laughs> I haven't done a full face using only one brand product. What? What? Uh... I 